This video elucidates the research study conducted by CSI Arneri for hydrodynamic and water quality simulation for rejuvenation of Nag River in Nagpur, Maharashtra. Nag River originates from Ambajhari Lake in the western side of Nagpur in the state of Maharashtra. The total stretch of the river is approximately 17 km up to the confluence point of River Pili. The digital elevation model of the study area is illustrated on the screen. The flood frequency analysis of 35 years rainfall data was carried out and IDF curves were generated. The simulation were carried out for different return periods of rainfall such as 1 in 5, 10, 25 and 50 years. The results were in the form of longitudinal water surface elevations and cross-section output. The screen depicts the cross-section output for the existing cross-section Rs 10375 and existing cross-section with the provision of lavies and modified or dredged cross-section with the provision of lavies. Flood inundation map is used to identify the areas which will be submerged during floods of 1 in 50 year period of rainfall. As shown on the screen before dredging area is shown by blue color and after dredging area which has been reduced is shown by yellow color. Commencing with the water quality simulation, as you can see only 18% sewage is getting treated and the remaining 370 MLD as untreated sewage. Some of the facts about Nag River is shown on the screen. Source Ambajhari Lake, length 16.73 km total sewage generation 450 MLD, treatment through STP80 MLD only. The sampling locations of Nag River were identified as Ambajhari Lake Overflow, Shankar Nagar Chowk, Abhyankar Mark Bridge, Sardar Patel Chowk, Ashik Chowk, Bhola Ganesh Chowk, Gangabai Ghat Road Bridge, Nag Nadi Flyover, Center Point School Bridge, Bandara Road AH46 Bridge, Bharatwada, and before confluence with Pili River, and six major drains two indicated as D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, and D6. The screen displays the levels of DO dissolved oxygen, BOD, biochemical oxygen demand and COD. Chemical oxygen demand at the identified sampling locations. The screen shows the quantity of sewage coming from the six major drains along the Nag River. The screen shows the spatial variation of dissolved oxygen in Nag River in present scenario as well the BOD in the Nag River. The screen shows the validation of observed and simulated values of DO and BOD. The rejuvenation of the Nag River is performed in which the sewage treatment is done up to the effluent discharge standard in river and finally discharged at downstream of Nag River and also by applying decentralized sewage treatment technologies for the treatment of the sewage coming from the major drains. The screen shows the variation in the dissolved oxygen in the Nag River in rejuvenated conditions and also shows the biochemical oxygen demand BOD in the Nag River after rejuvenation. The screen shows some of the still shots captured at the site during sampling. The screen depicts the comparison of water quality before and after applying the decentralized treatment technologies over the major drains. The research study has been concluded as there is an immediate need for the protective measures along the length of the river, especially in urban settlement and before the confluence with Pili River. The water quality simulation can be concluded in a way that after installing decentralized wastewater treatment it showed a significant reduction in BOD and increase in DO in Nag River. This work has been awarded first prize for poster presentation in the symposium entitled, interdisciplinary approaches towards environment management. The research study has been successfully carried out by Mr. Vikas Gupta CSIR, GATE SRF, under the supervision and valuable guidance of Dr. Ritesh Vijay and at last we deeply acknowledge the respected director, CSIR Neri for providing us the valuable support and infrastructural facilities to carry out this study.